Hey everyone, you're probably wondering where I have been. It's been easily over a year since my last video post. Um, you'll recall in that video that I had, uh, started renovations and stuff on my house, aka burning two giant dumpsters and cleaning it out. I have a hoarding problem, so do my parents, but the house has not gotten nowhere near, it's not even bad, it's just, it's a small place. And I like living here, so do my parents, it's a nice quiet neighborhood, and, well, you're all probably not interested in that. You're probably interested in what I've actually been up to. So, I have been busy rearranging the room, painting walls. No, I'm not done. Mainly because it takes two people to move some of the furniture I have here. And while I'm strong, I'm not strong enough to move things like this. This is my wall unit. And as you can see, it is pretty much packed. Uh, this is my electronic shelf where I keep spare computer parts for what will eventually be future videos. And my 360 and my Xbox One Launch Edition. Um, my TV, which is mounted. Uh, not the best lighting, sorry about that. But as you can see, I got... Let's see if I can pull out where you can see it better. I have cable managed the entire TV. Power strip. Wires ran. Uh, that is organized. That used to look a lot worse. Model kits I'm working on building, which I can do videos on, but they'll be time-lapsed. Uh, PS3 games. The Q-tips are for whenever I clean certain computer components with rubbing alcohol. Easiest way to get into certain parts. Um, yeah. And then up here is the monitor assembly for my, uh, well, my server rack. One of the things I'm doing is getting upgraded fiber internet. I am 1 gig symmetrical, which means I have 1 gigabit up and down. And as you can see, there is the ONT. My service provider is now uh, Metronet. So far, I've only had very slight issues, but that's during the night when they're doing maintenance on things. So I'll sometimes lose connection to certain websites like Amazon, Facebook, and like. But it almost always comes back up within an hour. They are a new company, and they're slowly expanding. Um, I will do a review on them within the next month on my thoughts and stuff on their service. Um, this is the old Spectrum system, which will be gotten rid of soon. I just can't afford to have two internet services. I have enjoyed Spectrum for a long time. I was with them when they were Time Warner Cable. And, yeah. Um, the main reason I'm getting rid of them, they said that 200 megs is the slowest that they have. And I originally had my phone through them. Which, as you can see on this ONT, my phone is now through Metronet. Um, and I, I would have kept them. If they could have lowered it and thus lowered the price, I pay $150 a month for this internet. Um, so it's it's gotta go. With Metronet, it's 80 bucks. But anyways, uh, I'm slowly getting new cable runs done. I'm pretty sure you remember seeing in past videos where uh, I had different color cables and stuff. Yeah, uh, it's still a work in progress, but it's a lot better. Um, this is my PDU, as you've seen in previous videos. I also now have a KVM switch, which I'm going to eventually label these. So this is my main router, my uh, storage NAS, which is down here. And uh, this is my media server. I will do, be doing a video on how to do all this, because you can actually do this for cheap. About six, seven hundred dollars, and you can be set up to start your own little lab. Um, the Windows server is currently down there in a fractal case. It's going to be moved to two U case like the PFSense system. Um, but yeah, uh, I've also been busy doing a bunch of cable management. As you can see, well, this was my first attempt, not the best, but. As you can see, going down this, 
and then down here, I move this air filter. I have done my best to cable manage everything. Now, I would run it through the ceiling, but it's not easy to get up there. And I rent this place. So, you're probably wondering why I would spend my own money to do what I've been doing. Ignore the trash. Trash day is the day uh, where I live, so it's going to be going out to the road for the trash man to pick up. Um, back to what I was saying. You're probably wondering why I have spent the money to do all this. To clean things up, and it was just getting really, really bad to the point. Uh... I will be honest, we had a mouse in the house, and at that point, I'm like, enough's enough. I went ahead and spent about six, seven hundred dollars on dumpsters, and took some time off work, and I just cleaned. The first thing to clean was my room. I'm pretty sure you remember from previous videos, which you can go back to and look at. My room, only thing you could do was walk to the bed and lay down, go to sleep, wake up, repeat, and... So, I, I've done a lot. Now, I will show you the living room, but I'm going to put the microphone on mute, and I'll do a voiceover. Um, I don't want, well, I don't want any copyright tracks, because right now my dad's up and he's watching uh, Lifetime. He's retired. He can do what he wants. Alright, so, I'll see you all in a second. Okay, as you can see as we are walking out of my room, this is the hallway. This place was fully painted about a year ago. Um, this is the dining room slash work room. My kitchen. <clears throat> I do need to get new tile. Uh, we got a new stove. Um, microwave and uh, one of those hot air fryers. And that thing in the bag is a meat slicer. But, as you can see, everything seems to be a lot cleaner. Um, that computer right there is the Windows 98 computer I was working on. Um, uses an AMD chip now. That right there is my mom's desk and personal area. Uh, gave her a dual monitor setup. <clears throat> uh, see, I'm going to be getting a close-up here of... Well, the computer, it's all retro style. Right there is my Game Boy Color and a Sega Genesis. And there's my Nintendo Switch for modern games. Uh, that case ran me about $100 off eBay. Um, let's see. I did some cable management throughout pretty much everything. Sorry for the uh, low quality lighting. Uh, like I said, my dad was watching Lifetime. Uh, <laughs> from what I can see, you will not be able to see it, but it's actually a cable managed under there. Yeah, I'm just getting used to the latest version of Filmora, so I have no idea how to adjust for the brightness. Um, those are some boxes that we need to get rid of. One has dog food in it, and the other is just boxes. Um, that wall is still pretty much the same. And, yeah, so, that's it. But, yeah, as you just saw, that was a walkthrough of the hallway, the living room, and the kitchen. Right now, my mom is asleep in her bedroom. She's got her and my dad share the biggest room here, which is what I would, that's what I prefer. Uh, I helped them get a brand new memory foam king, California king size. Uh, air foam mattress with custom bed frame. Oh, their room is also clean. I've wall mounted their TV, and I've done a lot. Oh, wee! So, there's, like I said, been a lot of work. I had a commenter ask why I stopped doing videos, and... Well, right now, what I have in my hand is my new camera, which will allow me to start doing videos again. And, um, well, just time and money. Like I said, I had to spend $700 on dumpsters. 
and I got rid of any furniture or anything that was bad. Um, heck, if you look there, I reinforced all the tables and stuff with that giant plank of wood right there. And, uh, that makes that all stable. I do plan to build a uh, little cabinet for right there, and then get a bookshelf for over here. So this way I can put all this stuff there, and the bookshelf will hold my future projects. This way I can get the, uh, top shelf here cleaned back up and put my custom Xbox OG up there, which runs it. It's all custom. Um, I'll post pictures of that here. And as you can see, I've done a lot of custom work to this Xbox. I mean, it's insane what I've done to it. Um, but yeah, you're probably wondering what's up with the motherboards on the wall. These are all first boards for something. So that bottom right board was my first ever personally bought custom motherboard. Um, the top left was a first custom Windows 98 board. Didn't work though. I tried contacting the company that made it. They're like, unfortunately, well, they tried helping. They gave me several suggestions, but then in the end they said, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do because we no longer support this product. Uh, zoom in. And, um, okay, if you can't support it, that's perfectly fine. I did tell them I would pay for it, pay whatever it took to fix it, but considering a lot of motherboards are getting more complicated with 3D print circuit boards where traces and stuff go through the board, there's no telling what could have broken there. So I understand why they didn't want to do it. Um, and then... That board was my first, well, serve, see right hand there, serve board, and it, it worked good. It runs a Core 2 Quad Extreme Edition, same with the top right, they're both the same exact board, um, but eventually, they just, they're too power hungry, they didn't have enough RAM, it's a DDR2, it can max out at, I think it's 16 gigabytes per board. But with what I'm running now in those Super Micro LG 1156 server boards with Intel Xeon X3440s, 32 gigs of RAM on each system. Now, you can see why I went that route. Um, anything else? Uh, like I said, yes, I do have a little bit of trash. Trash days today. It's going away. I just gotta take it out, which I'll be doing after I get this video edited and posted. Um, you're probably tired of me. Remember, this camera I'm using is a lot bigger. It's a Kodak, like $3,000 Kodak camera. Um, I only have two complaints about it. One, it only does 30 hour recording clips, as in, you can press record for the video, and it will record up to 30 minutes, and then stop itself. Not sure why. And the other thing is, it uses double A's. That would not be a con uh, for double A's. However, the port that you use to hook the camera up to the computer, the uh, USB port, cannot power the camera. Now, if it could, I'd happily run this camera off of uh, wall power all day long. But I can't. Um, I will be getting rechargeables. Right now I have some... Double A Energizer Ultimate Lithiums in it, and they are holding out really well. In fact, take a look at the camera. Yeah, I still have full battery, and I've had this thing since my sister's graduation. Uh, well, now that's, I'm leaving that part there because she's shy, shyer than me, but she's my sister, and anyways, um. That case right there. Whoops, I'm still zoomed in. That case up there was my first personal computer I earned on my own. It's an IBM NetVista 6269, I believe. You're probably wondering, where's the front plate? Where's everything else? Well, as you can see right there, I bought another junker case and uh, got some work combining them. I'm using an SFX power supply in it. Works fine. Although, if you're wondering why it's there, it's because, like I said, I'm working on 
well, right now I'm making the designs, but I'm going to put a uh, custom build, a cabinet thing for right there, put my computer in there, and uh, then, oh, clear off up there where the custom Xbox is, and toss it up there. And, yeah, that's about it. That's what's been going on. Uh, big fan Legend of Zelda. Skyrim. Hey, hey, it's not one to autofocus. There we go. Like I said, big fan of Skyrim, Legend of Zelda. Yes, I have the last book. It's put up right now because I don't have any more L brackets to put it on the wall. And the books are in perfect condition. Um, yeah. Uh, so I do plan on moving the rack one last time. Um, I'm going to move it to the left of this entire wall unit and then move the wall unit down. But that's after I get someone to help me move the wall unit so I can paint the back wall, finish painting, and then uh, paint the ceiling. Because if you look right there where that white spot is, yeah, the ceiling needs painted. Uh, well, people, I've always been happy to do videos and stuff. Now that I got a new camera, things like that. Uh, one second. One second. But yeah, <clears throat> uh, sorry for that quick uh, cutout. Uh, my dad wears a hearing aid and my mom's new ringtone from the find out really makes his hearing aid go loud and hurts his ears. But yeah, um, <clears throat> as you can see, I think with the camera being on a tripod, being completely stable, it seems to have a better quality picture, most likely because it's not having to autofocus. Um, like I said, I'm still getting used to the camera, still learning its in and outs. Um, I know I say I'm a lot, once again, that's because none of this is scripted. If it was scripted, it would, you know, seem fakeish, I think. But if you'd rather me do scripted videos in the future, let me know. Uh, the next video that's coming out will be where I did the sway bar end links on my car, trying to get rid of the clicking noise. And unfortunately, did not work. I believe it is my steering shaft, uh, intermediate steering shaft. They run about 80 bucks. I'm going to get one from GM or one of their parts warehouses and have my mechanic put it in because that's a job I can't do. I don't have a jack that goes high enough to get the car up in the air high enough. But yeah, um, I once again apologize for such a long delay and so I could have posted at least, you know, vlogs or something to keep y'all updated, but I do honestly apologize for not having any videos out in the past long time. I don't even remember when my last video was. Uh, but do expect more videos now that I got a camera, now that the house is mostly done. I do have plans to start doing more videos. Uh, I'm going to do a tour of my server rack, a full tour. Um, how I got it all up and running, why I'm able to use all the storage on this for Plex Media Server, even though I'm using a different machine for the actual transcoding and all that. And once again, I'll be doing a review on Metronet's fiber internet. Um, any other video ideas I have? Yes, the Windows 98 computer. I have two different Windows 98 computers now. The one you saw in the walkthrough of the living room. And then the IBM Net Vista. Um, <clears throat> I will show the builds on those. I have will have video on that because I still have the boxes. And, well, I videoed me unboxing everything. So, you'll be able to see me build them, test them. They, the one in the living room runs off an SSD, the IBM Net Vista runs off a micro, not micro, uh, standard side SD card, but the actual board that converts everything over to IDE is designed for micro SD. I could not find one for standard SD anymore. Uh, and then, yeah, that's about all the videos I got coming up within the next month or two. Um, Today is currently July 30th, so it's Wednesday, and I will also go over some work I did on my mom's lawnmower. 
she's on oxygen, but she, well, it's her lawnmower. She's the one that bought it. I'm the one that keeps it up. I recently had to swap the motor on it. Cheaper than buying another one. So I hope you understand. I've just had a lot of things going on. There are a lot of things. Money. Unable to buy a camera because my last set of cameras broke. Yes, I still have them. I'm just going to frame one of them like I did the motherboards as it was main camera kind type I used for most of the videos the last few years. Uh, the other one is time. I work a... It's not very demanding physically, but it is very demanding mentally. Uh, job where I work. Uh, I now have permission to say where I work, but understand, I am under no way, shape, or form talking for or promoting or producing, simply put, my YouTube channel and where I work, my actual job, are in no way, shape, or form linked together. I do not speak for them. They do not speak for me. Understand that. This is a disclaimer. Anything and everything I do here is my own stuff. It is not my main job. Uh, so my main job is I work at Amazon. And I do uh, custom a certain type of customer returns. I'm not allowed to go deep into it. But, yeah, that's where I work. Amazon. Amazon's taking over the world. Which means I should always have a job. Now, if this YouTube channel ever actually takes off where I can make money on YouTube, I would actually love to, you know, become a full-time YouTuber. I will also be going to school for computer networking, which means I can do videos on that. And, yeah, once again, I am really sorry that this video is also extremely long. Like I said, there's been a lot of stuff that's happened. Uh... And I hope you all have a good day, night, yada, yada, yada. Um, please like and subscribe and give me comments on what you would like to see in future videos. And make suggestions on how I can improve what I do. Recording-wise, uh, talking-wise, anything you think I can do as an improvement. I'll see you all later. Peace. I'm old.